this is the other side of the room where the, I have the uh, the stationary half of my collection I say half is probably uh, uh, two thirds or three quarters of my collection of stationaries first in this section is a uh, Walesco D6 one of uh, Walesco's simpler models with uh, an oscillating cylinder here we have a very nice Mamad SC2 uh, an early version with the uh, brass frame and brass flywheel lovely little engine there um, here's a, a Whedon, can't remember the model number uh, this is chimney, unfortunately. Uh, so it uh, shouldn't quite look as uh, squat as that. Uh, next to that is uh, the Mersey 25. Uh, nice wooden base, day. <laughs> not very good lighting conditions, but uh, it looks a bit better than that. It means a bit of light. Um, here's uh, uh, another classic Mamad, this is a Mamad Minor 1 uh, Then here, a recent addition to my collection the beautiful Philcraft marine engine uh, It's a lot smaller than it looks Wonderful engineer in there uh, <laughs> that's uh, reflected in the chrome cowling of the, uh, the Mamad SC3 marine engine. It's the one using the cell engine unit. Uh, next to that we have a Meccano engine made by Mamad, but uh, branded Meccano. Um, here is a the Wells stationary engine. Uh, Wells is the name of the man who uh, wrote the books on which these engines were based on. Uh, he wrote a series of books intended for use in schools, for school projects, in metalwork classes, and uh, two of the projects were steam engines. This is a stationary one. Uh, and then Next we have another Mamad marine engine, uh, this is the SE1, sorry, the ME1, uh, first one. Uh, next shelf, um, here we have a sealed on engine, I uh, can't remember the model number. Um, this one uses a, a lot of aluminium, including on the uh, the firebox there, and painted green. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> the paint doesn't survive very well. Um, but uh, I don't have any uh, really fireproof uh, paint in green. My paint is black. Um, chimneys are on colour anyway, so we'll see. Um, next. Uh, we have a whole series of Hour engines starting with uh, the Major here and Standard Junior and the Minor and tucked away in the back there the uh, SEL Marine engine which is the one they supplied to Mamad but they also sold it under their own name uh, and next to that is a, uh, is a pair of Philcraft engines the uh, Jenny Wren at the back there and the Lily Puts in front of it uh, down here is a Willisco D3 uh, I think probably Willisco's latest uh, model only one of the later ones. Uh, they made a big fuss about uh, it being made from recycled materials, and uh, if you look inside the firebox, you can see it's made out of uh, a film canister. 
Um, this is a Bowman 175. Uh, this is the original Bowman, uh, as opposed to the next one, which is uh, the Bowman Company in Luton, uh, who bought up the rights to the Bowman name. Um, here's uh, another Sildon engine. This is the one with the uh, very clever semi rotative valve gear. Um, can't really see what it, how it works from there, but uh, very clever. Um, here we have a, a nice brass engine uh, made from brass, um, or mostly brass anyway. It's not from a kit, a part. Um, I can't remember the make or the, uh, <laughs> the model number. <laughs> oh well. Um, then there's a Bing vertical engine there. Uh, this one was from 1905 or thereabouts. It's probably the oldest engine in my collection. And then uh, down on this uh, other set of racks, a rack of shelves. Uh, There's some of the larger engines in my collection. This, I think, is the largest. It's uh, another Bing. Uh, not quite as old as the little vertical, but uh, quite old, about 1915, I think. Quite a tall chimney on there. That's not the original colour, and that's yeah, the whole thing's been repainted. Um, apart from the from the base, which. Uh, I think it's uh, sub screened, I believe, or something like that. Um, and uh, here we have the uh, famous Bowman M101, probably the most powerful engine in my collection. It used to be the biggest and before I got the thing. Um, down here we have a Jensen 70. Uh, this is a 110 volt electrically heated one, so I have to run that with a, a transformer. Uh, very nice runner. Uh, long time before I uh, got round to buying a Jensen, and uh, I'm glad I did now. Very nice runner, very nice engine. Here we have uh, <laughs> the infamous three cylinder Mamad. One I call the SE3C, uh, which I made up from a pair of uh, SE3s. Uh, it's certainly not the only one now. I know of at least one other one. Uh, here is uh, uh, a couple of uh, engines which I've uh, sectioned for uh, demonstration purposes an SE3 and uh, the uh, the engine unit from a Malesco D16 and then uh, down on the bottom shelf here we have a complete Malesco D16 and a complete Amad SE3 and uh, around here. See it's a bit better. A Bowman twin cylinder M122.